Drew, you're the master blender here at Buffalo Trace. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do on a daily basis? I drink a lot, but <laughs> besides that, we ensure the consistency of the products okay. that we produce at Buffalo Trace. And probably more importantly is we develop new products here all the time. So we're always experimenting, trying new things, trying to make whiskeys better. So you have a lot of warehouses. We've seen a lot of them here. Um, how do you manage all that with the barrels? What goes into which warehouse? Um, you know, how you age the different brands? Yeah, we don't put it all our eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. So when we make a batch, we'll distribute them to different warehouses because they're all going to give you different flavors depending on where you put them. We have a lot of different recipes, which gives us the diversity plus aging. Uh, location, not just where the warehouse is, but within the warehouse. We were on the sixth floor earlier on, and uh, it is a lot hotter. You know, can you tell us about the differences between the different uh, areas in the warehouses? It depends on what you're looking for. You want something that matures fast for, say, a three to maybe a six-year-old, you'd go to the top floors. Whereas maybe a little bit older, mi middle floors, and then the oldest products we have would be towards the bottom and the cooler part of the warehouses. Buffalo Trace is the most awarded distillery in the world. Um, you know, is there any specific award which you really kind of felt special about? You know, some experts in the world is really great, and it makes people want to buy our products. But at the same time, that's not what's really important to us as a company. I think what's important is our customers like our taste. Mm -hmm. And I think it really gets them to buy the bottle initially because it has all these accolades. But once they taste it and enjoy it and then try our competitors, they always come back to us. So I, I think that's really what drives us is our uh, customers. And it's very important that they like the products we taste, not just the experts. So we're here at Buffalo Trace Distillery. Yeah. Um, this is a national historical landmark, right? It is. We, in 2013, we did a lot of work uh, to get that set up. It took us over a, a decade to get that work done, but uh, we, we finally got the designation in 2013. So what were the things you kind of put forward? Is it uh, the historical aspect? Yeah, all the historic aspect of the place. We started in 1773, had a lot of uh, expansion along the way, and, and we're one of the few working national historic landmarks, so we're we're actively using every square inch of the place, so proud to show it off. Last year we got about 250,000 uh, visitors wow, okay. walk through the place, and, and uh, we love showing the place off. Okay, so we're here at Warehouse X. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this project? In 2006, we had a really bad um, storm here that ripped right. the roof off of one of our warehouses and exposed some of the barrels to the atmosphere, and really it, it lended itself pretty well with our experimental program where we uh, experiment with all different things, uh, recipes and wood and s processes and all the different things we do, but we really didn't have a way to explore the environment and the way that impacted the flavor of the whiskey. So we came out with warehouse, we came up with the idea of Warehouse X, which is really a chambered warehouse where we can manipulate the environment however we want and, and see how that affects the flavor of the whiskey. 